Hi there, my name is Mark and I'm here to talk about Google and the different Google applications available and how they apply to education. Uh, the Google business model is, is about advertising and through their advertising programs they're able to create uh, dozens of different web-based applications uh, essentially for free because it helps increase the traffic to Google search engines and and Google sites in general where they can c continue to promote their advertising. So unlike a company like Microsoft who has to rely on the sale of its software for revenues, Google has a completely different program than Microsoft at giving uh, the opportunity to create uh, web-based applications for absolutely free to the user, which is which is great for the education world. Uh, one of the most popular Google applications is Blogger. Google Blogger is a, a tool that allows you to create your own blogs, and and how that can apply to education is is uh, the teacher can assign students to create a class blog or an individual blog to talk about the subject of the class. Uh, blogs are good for education in the area of communication, uh, in sharing ideas and presenting different points of view and also allowing people to respond to the different points of view. Another great program by Google that's very popular is Google Calendar. Uh, Google Calendar can be used in education in a number of ways also. Google can Calendar can be used to track due dates for assignments. Uh, it can be set up to provide reminders for students on, on homework and assignments due. Uh, it's great for teachers to do classroom planning. And uh, it's, it works for both students and teachers in, in communicating uh, assignments and, and times when when things are due for the, for the classroom projects. Another great Google product is, one of my favorites, is Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs came out about a year and a half ago, and it's uh, basically an office suite similar to Microsoft Office. It includes uh, a presentation software, it includes a word processor, a spreadsheet, and an all-new forms creation tool that allows you to create different forms. And forms is one thing that uh, Google offers that, 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 that Microsoft does not offer. And through the forms, you can build all kinds of cool tools to apply to your, your classroom, like quizzes, surveys, uh, you could confirmations, uh, you could collect information on student data, uh, you could, could you could track students' uh, information through uh, surveys and many, many more uses. Uh, what, what's one of the, the greatest things about Google Docs is it allows you to collaborate because it is web-based. That means the software sits on the server and, and it allows users to give permission to other users to, to view their, their documents or to collaborate and actually alter other documents. Uh, it allows you to publish these documents to the web. Google, every document is assigned a, a URL number and uh, it allows you to provide links for other people to look at, at your documents or to access them for editing. Uh, Google Docs is great for project-based assignments, organizing data, uh, the, the word processor is great for newsletters uh, and for students creating assignments for uh, large papers and essentially anything that you can do with Microsoft Office with those uh, four software of the suite you can do with Google. The, the, the cool thing about it is it's web-based and it allows you to share and collaborate and publish over the web. Another great Google tool for education and one that's probably not very well known is called Google Knoll. Google Knoll is an authoritative article about a specific topic and it allows you to uh, sign up for Google Knoll and then you can create your own Knoll which is essentially a, a single web page and then you can populate the web page with your own data, whatever subject 
you choose, you can you can you can include in the null, and you can include images, videos, uh, essentially anything you can do with a web page, you can do with a null. But it does have a specific purpose that it Google organizes its nulls separately from from web pages, and you can search not the Google nulls to for research projects or you can create them for class projects and and it's a great uh, way to collaborate on, on project based learning from teachers assignments another great software is the all new Google Sites which, which is uh, different than Blogger in that it allows you to create uh, a complete website but differently than regular websites it allows you to give permissions and, and provide access to only the people that you want to look at the, the site. So in, in essentially it, it can become like an intranet site for what uh, businesses use. And in fact I'm going to use Google Sites for my own business to create an intranet site for the employees. But in, in education it allows you to again collaborate with other students and the teacher on project based learning assignments. Uh, it's almost like you can use it as a wiki format website if you choose. And uh, anyway, Google Sites is going to be one very popular uh, product by Google, and it's just now getting uh, getting out on the market where people know what it's about. Another great pro uh, tool by Google, which is is uh, YouTube, and YouTube and Google Video is probably the largest collection of videos in the world on, a, on a, two different websites and with, with video you can, uh, you can go to the site search for videos that uh, you are interested in and there's tons of videos about that apply to education with learning research uh, teachers could use videos for lectures you can, you can link YouTube videos to your websites and again, it's web-based, and it allows you to do a lot more with 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 the uh, uh, with the software than uh, if it was not web-based. Uh, several other good good software programs by Google are Google Maps and Google Earth. Uh, it'd be great for a history class, social studies, uh, maybe a geography class, social sciences. Uh, it, it's, it would also be an excellent uh, tool for teaching younger children the states and the capitals and and uh, the different areas of the country and also the different countries in the world. Uh, another great software program that Google put out is called Notebook and it is a tool for gathering information that you find on the web. You can capture uh, snippets of websites and and different different pieces from the web and you can store them and then organize them and come back and use them later for a research project. Uh, and of course the, the, the main thing about Google is the search engines. Google has over 12 different types of search engines. Many are, are very uh, specific to uh, something that you might use in education like Google Scholar. Uh, the search engine for the Scholar allows you to search scholarly papers. Uh, there's there's blog search engines, there's uh, books, videos. You can customize this search engine with Google. And then a few other Google products are SketchUp, uh, which is a 3D modeling uh, software that you could use in art, architecture class, uh, maybe a, uh, a, a class on, on uh, creating websites and, and, and using 3D modeling inside the website. Uh, but Google applications, the advantage of them is it is web-based. Uh, it, it allows you to integrate many of Google's software products and uh, it is simple to use. It allows sharing and, and publishing and collaborating and most of all it is free and for the, for the educational world Google has a lot to offer. I hope you enjoyed this video and give some of these software programs a try sometime. Thank you very much for watching.